Hey everybody, welcome back, I'm Kalani, and in this lesson I'll be showing you how to play a common chord progression, or common chords, in four different keys. And that's so you can accommodate the singing ranges of either yourself, people you're playing with, or people you're playing for, like a classroom of students that want to sing a song. So let's go with the most common key, which is the key of C, and let's review the four chords in this group that I'll be uh, teaching you. And I'm going to mention a few other things at the very end, but the main thing is we're going to learn the one chord, C, the four chord, F, the five chord, G, and our six chord, which is always a minor chord in a major key, in this case, A minor. And these are very easy chords. These are our beginning chords on the ukulele, so this should be no problem for most of you. Uh, we use these in the pop chord progression. You can use them for one, four, five songs like La Bamba. Of course, you can use them in maybe the 50s chord progression. All right, so tons and tons of songs. If you can master one, four, five, and six in a few different keys, you'll be golden. Let's move up to the next key that would give you a, uh, another whole range or a range area, which would be the key of F. And I'm gonna show you these in, in level of difficulty. So I think F would be the next go-to key. Uh, a lot of ukulele songs are in the key of F. The only tricky chord is a bar chord, B flat. But let's start with F, our root. Four chord is the bar chord, B flat chord. C is our five chord. And the minor six is D minor, which is a lot like F, just placing that ring finger right below the second finger on the second fret. Okay, so that's the key of F. You're already hearing songs, right? So, so many songs use these chords, one, four, five, and six, in different sequences. All right, let's go up to the key of G, and this is about as far away from C as you can get, right? Either F or G. Uh, you're probably not gonna play an F sharp, so we'll just say that F or G will give you, you know, a whole nother range of possibility. The root, of course, is G. Four chord is C. A little bit more challenging chord and new in this sequence is gonna be the five chord, which is D. But of course, in many cases, we'll use D7. So you can either play the easy D7 or the standard D7 or any other kind of D7 you want. And then our minor chord is E minor, which is a little bit trickier because we're not in root position and that's why I place G a little bit more difficult than F because we have to float our fingers starting on the second fret, first string, second string, third string, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, E minor. All right, so, so that's our minor. So key of G. All right, and finally, I think one of the more challenging but not too difficult keys would be the key of D. So if C is just a little too low but F is a little too high, you can try the key of D. So the, one of the more challenging chords is that D chord because you got to bunch all your fingers up on the second fret, strings two, three, and four, play that D chord. But then, ah, uh, we get to go to G for the four chord, A major for the five chord, very easy chord. And now another bar chord, which is B minor, barring on the second fret, ring finger or third finger on the fourth string, fourth uh, fret because we're basically taking A minor and we're sliding it up two frets. B minor. So D, key of D. All right, beautiful. So now that's 16 chords, well not 16 chords, 16 different uh, chords in sequence, but a lot of those are the same chords, right? So they overlap, so you don't need to learn 
a ton of chords to play in four different keys and play the root, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. Now, I want to give you a couple other options because when you play songs, you'll often see a couple other types of chords that come into play. So I just want to touch briefly on these. Suffice to say, these are not necessary, but if you can do these, uh, it'll, it'll be nice. So it's very common for folk songs or older pop songs to go to the four chord in the chorus or at some point in the song, maybe the bridge, maybe the chorus. So for that, you'll often see the one chord turning into a five of four. Here's how to play your root chords as dominant seven chords and those go to the four chords. So for C, we're gonna place first finger, first fret, first string in the corner. C7 goes to F. For the key of F, we're gonna place third finger, third string, third fret. That goes to B flat. For the key of G, we're gonna to go to our G7 chord, which many consider easier than G. And that goes to C, right? In the key of D, you can either lift the uh, sec second finger, your middle finger, number two finger, and then go to G. Or you can play the easy D7 like I've shown you, or do the standard D7. And though that's how to turn uh, all of your root chords, your one chords into dominant seven chords or four of four. One more set of chords and then we're home. Let's talk about five of five. And again, this is an extra, not necessary to play a bunch of songs, but it's something if you have it in your bag, in your back pocket, in your knapsack of chords, you'll be happy you have it. Um, and a lot of these you already know, but quickly let's review a five of five is a dominant seven, two chord in the key of C, D7. All right, you already have that. In the key of F, it's G7. You already have that one. In the key of G, it's A7. Very easy chord, one finger chord. And in the key of D, it's E7. Also super easy if you play G7, you just move the index finger up to the top string. And why do you need a five of five? Well, a lot of Hawaiian songs start off with a turnaround or vamp or intro that is the five of five to the five to the one. For example, Huki Lao song in the key of F, we're gonna play G7 and C7 and F. Sound familiar? That's a lot of chords, a lot of progressions, and a lot of options for accompanying people singing in lots of different keys. Uh, you got some bonus stuff in there. I hope this is helpful and I hope it helps you accompany people and play music and spread joy wherever you go and whoever you're with. I'm Kalani, thanks for watching.